Well, by now, you've probably heard of the Kia Hyundai TikTok challenge. Those viral videos where thieves are using USB cords to hotwire and steal cars. The trend first spiked in Wisconsin and then in Colorado, but an investigation by the News 4 I team shows just how big a problem it's become here in our region. Consumer investigative reporter Susan Hogan has more. Police tell us there's no way to know whether all of these thefts stem from the TikTok challenge, but one thing is clear. It's been a challenge for police and Kia and Hyundai drivers to manage, and they say the car manufacturers aren't doing enough to help. The horn was blaring. As the mom of a teenager, Nicole Robinson keeps an eye on TikTok to keep an eye on her son. I just try to be in touch with what's going on. And that's where she first saw the viral videos about the Kia boys, young people using USB cords to steal Kia and Hyundai's, teaching others how to do it too. I'm like, wait a minute, this, these are the kind of cars that we drive. Um, maybe we should take some additional measures. But the Laurel woman never got the chance because the very next day, the 2018 Hyundai Elantra she was so proud to buy was gone. My wife uh, came to me and said, hey, where's your car? <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? It's, it's outside. And she's, no, it's not. In its place, shattered glass on the ground. A neighbor said he caught the alleged thieves trying to steal a second Hyundai from their parking lot, too. They did not get away with it because he scared them off, but they ran off in my car. Nicole called police and quickly learned she was just the latest victim in what's been a growing problem for law enforcement. It's kind of hard to surprise me anymore after doing this so long, but frankly, this is a bit of a shock. Laurel Police Chief Russ Hamill said in his city alone, auto thefts have more than doubled since last year from 88 to 188. Kia and Hyundai's account for 83 of this year's thefts. He said his department has confirmed nearly 60 of those were stolen using a USB cord. We have so many juveniles involved in this. These aren't professional car thieves, evidenced by the fact that we're recovering so many of them. The News 4 I team wanted to know just how big of a problem this is across our region, so we submitted open records requests to multiple police agencies and found that thefts of Kias and Hyundais are on pace to exceed last year's totals, and in most places, they already have. Compared to last year, in Prince George's County, total auto thefts are down, but thefts of Hyundais are up 45 percent, Kias 71 percent. In Fairfax, total auto thefts are also down nearly a quarter, but thefts of Hyundais have risen 25 percent, Kias 55. In Arlington County, total auto thefts have risen 2 percent, but Hyundai thefts are up 67 percent, Kias up 160 percent. And in Montgomery County, thefts of both models are on track to exceed last year's totals. Data wasn't available in the district. The vehicles that were targeted are not the typical vehicles that are theft targets. Matt Moore analyzes auto theft data for the Highway Loss Data Institute, known as HILDI. Why these two vehicles? What do they have in particular that is making this an easier target to steal? In this case, it's the issue of what they don't have, and, and that is they do not have standard immobilizers. That's the security device that prevents a car from starting without the proper key fob nearby. Instead, the impacted Kias and Hyundais use an old-fashioned key. Moore says Hyundai and Kia have lagged behind other manufacturers in making immobilizers standard in their vehicles. In model year 2015, about 96% of vehicles from other manufacturers had immobilizers as standard equipment. Uh, that same model year, the Hyundai Kia vehicles, only about 25% of them had standard immobilizers. Class action lawsuits have since been filed across the country, alleging the lack of a standard immobilizer is a defect that makes the vehicles more vulnerable to theft. In a statement, both Kia and Hyundai say their vehicles meet or exceed federal motor vehicle safety standards, and both manufacturers now include engine immobilizers as standard equipment. In late 2021, they became standard on all Hyundai vehicles, and all 2022 Kia models now have an immobilizer. In response to the thefts, 
Both manufacturers are providing steering wheel locks to police in impacted areas and developing software updates to secure these targeted vehicles. Hyundai is also selling a glass brake sensor security kit to drivers. The price tag, $170. I don't want to pay anything. I don't want to do that. You guys should have installed these things before I purchased my vehicle. Nicole's car was found just days after it was stolen in early October, but she's told she won't have it back from the shop until at least mid-November. The cost for the repairs? Nearly $3,000. Nobody wants to spend money they did not plan on spending. Until then, she's driving a rental, another key-powered Hyundai Elantra. Now, I am concerned that when I do get my vehicle back, that it's just going to be stolen again. Now, police tell us what's unusual about this social media trend is it hasn't slowed down yet, but there are things that you can do to protect your vehicle. Try to deter would-be thieves with locks on your steering wheel or with that glass brake sensor security kit. Always remove your valuables, your phone charger, and park it in well-lit places. And make sure you have comprehensive coverage as part of your insurance. That's what covers auto theft losses. I'm Susan Hogan, News 4. Now, in a statement, a TikTok spokesman told News 4, TikTok does not condone this behavior, which violates our policies and will be removed if found on our platform.